All right. Hello and good morning, everybody. It is I, Granorite, and here we are with our final episode of this Psychic Type team. Let's be honest, we're not going to have any issues with this in the end game. Uh, so. Uh, just a second, sorry. Uh, we're going to look at our team uh, at level 55 here. And. Uh, we're gonna go into this fight. We need to give Mew an item. Just a second. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's take a gander. Giraffrig here has inner focus for its ability. It has the King's Rock equipped. Uh, stats highest to lowest are HP 153, attack 140, speed 128, special attack 105, special defense 88, defense 81. Has return, side beam, shadow ball, and earthquake. Followed by Mew. Has psychic, surf, thunderbolt, ice beam. Citrus berry is its equipped item. Stats highest to lowest are HP 190, special attack 170, speed 148. Special defense 121, defense 120, attack 109, has synchronized, so it passes on those status conditions. Celebi, natural cure, so it heals statuses upon switching out. Also has a citrus berry. Uh, stats highest to lowest are HP 213, defense 172, special attack 139, attack 121, special attack uh, 119, speed 111. <coughs> Sorry, whoa. Nose Giga Drain, Leech Seed, Confusion, Calm Mind. And we have Grumpig here with Psybeam, Psyched Up, Shockwave, and Magic Coat. Has a Citrus Berry. Stats highest to lowest are Special Defense 183, HP 173, Special Attack 144, Speed 109, Defense 90, Attack 59. Has Thick Fat, so it takes half damage from Heat and Cold. Espeon, Synchronized for its ability. Has the Lax Instance equipped, stats highest to lowest star, special attack 192, speed 162, HP 160, special defense 118, attack 84, special or defense 76, psychic toxic seeking power sand attack. And that about does it. And so we're going to start off with Mew up front going in against Sydney here because we, uh, we have that attack dropped from the Mighty Yenna. And here we go. All right, we're going to go in with a Thunderbolt on this Mighty Enna to start things off. Almost gets it, actually, and he'll heal it here. Still hitting through the uh, sand attack, so that's good. Ooh, critical hit. Very nice. Very nice. Shift Tree's coming out next. Now, we're going to swap just because of the sand attack here, and we're going to swap over to Giraffe Rig. <coughs> Ten. Good damage. We do get swaggered. Uh, we're gonna swap. We're gonna swap. And there we go. I refuse to be swaggered by this shift tree. Cacturn's coming back, or coming out next. We're going to swap back to Mew here, because it does have the Ice Beam. Keep Mew out for Crawdon and to just Thunderbolt it. Oh, 
All right, we're going to go uh, back to Drafreg here for Absol. <clears throat> and we'll just return. Almost takes it out. So it'll have a Citrus Berry equipped. We just go in with another return and finish it off. First fight done. Alright. We'll use our Soda Pop here to heal a draft ring. And then we're going to swap Espeon up to start this next fight. This first Dust Clops just likes to wall. Psychic? Yep. Psychic? We knew the Protect was coming. And it takes itself out to Curse Espeon. We will just swap, and we're going to go to Draft right here. Throw a Shadow Ball into that Bayonet. Super effective, and down it goes. Excellent. Uh, Sableye here. I think we'll just keep Giraffe Rig out. We don't really care who takes on the Sableye. We don't have an amazing matchup for it. Giraffe Rig does neutral damage. Earthquake is a little stronger than Shadow Ball. We might take it out. And we do. Excellent. Good job, Giraffe Rig. Another Shadow Ball into another Bayonet. Um, I think we're going to go back to Espeon here for the Stuss Clocks. It's tanky. We need to worry more just about its HP than we do its damage. Of course, that's going to hurt. Espeon does not have a lot of physical defense. But it has enough. And I know we're faster, and I know we deal enough damage, and down goes the Dustclops. All right. So let's Hyper Potion heal up Espeon. Uh, we will go ahead and use an either on Psychic. So we're going to swap up Grumpig for the next fight because it's got that thick fat. Um, I think we just go in with Shockwaves. Might take a few to take out some Pokemon, but that's okay. Now, what of these uh, Galalies knows Crunch? <coughs> I'm probably going to be the next one they send out. So let's swap over to Espeon. Psychic it, since we do a lot of damage with Psychic. Icy Wind. So I'm sure that Glacier will heal here. Which is fine. We'll take a little chip damage on Espeon. The 
other Golalee's coming out. We'll just keep Espeon out. Let's Toxic it. Puts the Hail back up. Psychic. Well, that's gonna hurt. But it's not got the stab. The Hail's gonna take us down. Ah, that's not, that's not nice. Alright, so let's go to Giraffe Ring. Sorry, Espeon. Go back to Grumpig here for the Celio. Uh, this one I think knows Attract. Can I Magic Coat that back? Ah, look at that. We actually used we actually used magic coat to our advantage. And now the Celio is in love with us. I can't believe that. We called that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and then we just critical hit it and it doesn't matter. All right, Grumpy. Good job. Because they know Surf and Body Slam and Blizzard and Sheer Cold, so it's all offensive and wall. Uh, let's full restore. Shockwave! At least it can't put the hail back up. She'll heal it here. No, she won't because of the citrus berry. So we'll just take it out. Excellent. All right, let's get Eevee or Espeon back up. Drop a couple hyper potions. We're gonna swap Espeon up to start this next fight. Because there's no reason for us to use um, just our legendaries. We need to hand a berry. Back to Grumpig. Drake starts off here with a shell gone anyways. Then we get a psychic in. Bam. Beautiful. Now we're going to swap the Mew. Ice Beam. Wonderful that we're faster. And we'll keep you out for the Salamence. Ice Beam! out for the Altaria. Ice Beam! You see a pattern. <coughs> Alright, Kingdra. Go back to Espeon. So, our goal is to take it down before Dragon Dances a bunch and Smoke Screens us a bunch. Which we do. Look at that. Look at that. This Psychic Team had no issues with, with Drake. Easy peasy. Just 
Soda Pop. Just give that SB out a Soda Pop. Swap up Celebi. And now we are going to sweep. Start off with a Leech Seed. One. Two. Oh, we heal so much from that leech seed. Three. Four. Five. And six. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. One down, five to go. Two down. Four to go. Three down, three to go. Giga Drain is still our strongest attack. It does neutral damage to both these Pokemon because of their water typing. Critical hit, four down, two to go. Five down, one to go. Oh, and it survives. All right, well, we'll just leech seed Giga Drain. Fine. All right, that's the Elite Four, everybody. Blah, 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 blah. Excellent. We want to go get the leftovers, and that's all we need to do before we go, well, and level up, before we go face Steven. to Celebi. We'll fly 
back to Fall Arbor Town here, and we're going to Rare Candy up to 75 like we do. Almost there with Grumpig. We have three more to go after that. Two, three, four, five. Excellent. Cell be here. Off we go. Alright, let's take a final look at stats, and then we're going into the fight. Move sets have not changed. Celebi here has now got the leftovers. Stats highest to lowest are 287 for HP, defense 233, special defense 188, uh, attack 164, special attack 161, speed 151. You here, stats highest to lowest are uh, HP 256, special attack 229, speed 200, Special defense, 164. Defense, 162. Attack, 147. Grump Pigs, uh, highest to lowest stats are special defense, 249. HP, 233. Special attack, 195. Speed, 147. Defense, 152. Attack, 80. Uh, draft Rig, highest to lowest are HP, 205. Attack, 190. Speed, 173. Special defense, 141. Special defense, 118. Defense, 109. And Espeon, Special Attack 260, Speed 220, HP 214, Special Defense 160, Attack 113, Defense 102. And here we go. Alright, we're going to throw a Leech Seed on this Skarmory to start things out. It throws the Spikes right back. And now we start the Calm Minds. One! <clears throat> We're interested to see how much an aerial ace does. 
Not that bad. Like 50? 50 damage? 60 damage? And we heal almost 20 back with the leftovers and that um, so after the leftovers and the leech seed we have taken a net 18 damage from that um, aerial ace well then it critical hits us and that'll go uh, what are we at three four five Right now we're going to full restore. That Toxic was getting us a little low. Uh, okay, we're full Calm Mind up. Let's Confusion. It on the Almar Armaldo. Take a drain it. Good damage. Now, even though we set up the sweep, you can tell we're not taking, like, we're not dealing huge amounts of damage. Metagross coming out next. Throw the leech seed on it. So it'll probably Shadow Ball us. Does some decent damage. Oh, but that's not good. Drops our special defense a little. We can get that back up, but that's not a huge detriment at the moment. Even though that wasn't very effective, that dealt like half its health. Meteor Mash misses. It's going to eat a Citrus Berry. Then we'll gain... Uh, well, we're not going to gain anything, but we'll deal a little damage with the HC. Back up with another Dinka Drain! Nice. Gradilli's coming out next. There goes down. Alright, we have Claydol. Let's the leech seed it. I need to use an elixir. And then we'll call mine. We're gonna wait out the uh, light screen. So that was turn two of the light screen. Three. Four. I just didn't want to have to deal with the light screen. Let's see how much we do with the Giga Drain on Aggron. Does neutral damage. Solid. That's it. Steven down. That completes this playthrough. Easy peasy. Um, let's roll up our next team. Fancy. All right, this is playthrough thirty two. First thing we have to do is we have to see what starter we are going to have. So we're going to roll one, two, three. One will be Trico, two will be Torchic, three will be Mudkip. We will have a Torchic again. So our rival will have a Mudkip. 
All right, now the big one, type. We have 11 types from 1 to 11. It's grass, fire, flying, water, bug, normal, electric, fighting, rock, psychic, and dark. And our next playthrough will be on 3, 1, 2, 3, flying type. Our second flying type team. And we have, at the look, team number two. Um, 18 plus 30, 31, 31, uh, flying type Pokemon remaining. They are Aerodactyl, Artaria, Articuno, Beautifly, Butterfree, Charizard, Grobat, Delibird, Dodrio, Farfetch, Firo, Gligar, Ho-Oh, Jumpluff, Lady, and Lugia, Manti, and Masquerain. Moltres, Murkrow, Pelipper, Pidgeot, Rayquaza, Salamence, Scyther, Skarmory, Swellow, Togetic, Tropius, Yanma, and Zapdos. And let's going to be a team of five. Let's see what we get. 31, all the way down to Zapdos, all the way at the end of the list with that Z. Two, Altaria. 21, okay, so let's see, that's 18. 19, 20, 21. Pelipper. 7, 5, 6, 7. Crobat. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Beauty Fly. All right, so this team is going to be Altaria, Beauty Fly, Crobat, Pelipper, and Zapdos. So we'll get that team set up. We will have our first episode of that playthrough today, but it'll take me just a little bit to get it set up. We do hope you all enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you next time.